welcome back to another video so today um i'm doing an acrylic video for you because i don't think i've got any like this on my channel um so i'm doing a glitter ombre and what else and flower encapsulation um so i'm just going in here with a clear this is crystal clear from tears beauty as most of you probably know now i am an ambassador for tears beauty i absolutely love all of their products so you can get 10 percent off with my code beauty matters 10 in capital letters it's always in the description box though as long along with the link for the website and instagram page for tears as well so if you want to have a look then head down into the description box um so i'm just going in here with clear and like i said doing a base of clear and then i'll i'll only show you a couple of nails of this and then i'll just put a time lapse on for the rest because it gets pretty boring watching the same thing so it's just a quick video today um i basically just show you how to do a couple of nails and time lapse the rest of them like the whole way along <laughs> um just because it's literally like the same on every nail so i'm using oh probably gonna get this wrong now but i'm pretty sure i'm using shimmering sunset and diva for these nails um for the glitters they're pre-mixed glitters so they're acrylic you don't need to mix them with like clear powder or anything they come pre-mixed you just use them with your acrylic liquid so i'm going in with those two i think the lighter one of the two glitters was shimmering sunset and the slightly darker one was diva they're both gorgeous and you'll see the magic happen when we top coat at the end after encapsulating a violin so I'm just going in here, I do end up realising eventually that I'm out of, there we go, out of focus. So I'm just going in here with the lighter one of the two. I'm just doing alternatives basically. So the lighter one on this one, then Diva on the next one, back to the lighter one, then Diva, blah, blah. So just going on like that. And then I decided that I was going to add some dried flowers to this set and encapsulate those on two of the nails. Because every time I ask my mum what she wants, she always asks me for a full set of like milk bath like dried flower nails and i'm like oh you're not having a full set of dried flowers it cost me a fortune <laughs> so she's never been able to have them and every time she has a full set uh, every time she has a nail done as well she always asks me for ombre and she never like whenever we book her an appointment we automatically assume that she's going to have a gel polish design in fill so obviously i just file off the color put a new um fill in the gap with well basically infill with acrylic and then obviously file new color new design so that takes me less time than it does a redesign because obviously with a redesign i have to file down to the clear base then do my design again so yeah i never book out a redesign for her because she never asks me to and then every single time it comes to it she just happens to want an ombre so this was a new set so we just thought you know what of all the times to get it done let's just do it because yeah and I know my mum apparently better than she knows herself because she was trying to get me to do her pink and white ombre and I know she'd hate it because she hates boring nails so we compromised she still got an ombre but we did it with glitter and then I also um added obviously the dried flowers so I've sort of killed but till but ugh, killed two birds with one stone with this set she got an ombre and dried flowers so hopefully that'll like settle her need for ombre and dried flowers now and then after this set we can just go back to normal <laughs> so here i'm just using naked which is one of the core powders from tears beauty it is literally the easiest powder to blend with i have ever used in all of my life um i absolutely love this it's a beautiful color and as you can see it just blends so easily it's amazing to work with I absolutely love it i'm using a size 8 brush in this video i don't really know why because i don't tend to use a brush so small but i just thought because i'm doing ombre i do tend to use a smaller brush because obviously like if i was doing a full set where i wanted the whole nail covered in like a couple of beads then i'd need to pick up more but because i'm doing an ombre and i want to keep the ombre itself thin so i can build the apex with the clear layer i'm using a smaller brush to make sure i don't put on too much product on each nail so after all that rambling <laughs> i'm just encapsulating here with clear acrylic i don't know why this nail took me so long i messed about with it for a really long time um but anyway so i'm just encapsulating make sure that everywhere is absolutely covered so i don't file it off at the end when i come to finish file um and then here is where i'm going to add a dried flower so I'm just doing the ombre first because I wanted the dried flower to be on top of the ombre. I was wondering whether to put the dried flower underneath and then do the ombre on top and have it like a faded flower. But then I thought no because my mum will probably just complain that it's not visible enough. So I decided to put it on top instead. Um, so here I'm just moving the camera because I was way out of the way. I'm just popping my 
naked acrylic down again to create that blend i'm not too bothered about a perfect blend on this one because the dried flower is quite big and it does cover up quite a lot of the nail anyway so it's not really much of an issue if the blend isn't absolutely perfect but as always it was great anyway because like i said this powder is so easy to blend and then i'm going to pick up just a little bit of clear and just place it on the tip because that glitter will have dried now obviously so i'm just creating a bit more wet acrylic for it to be able to stick to i was going to put two two dry flowers on this nail like on the ring finger on both hands and then i thought well, actually no putting both of them on i didn't really like the look of it so i decided to take off one of them uh, leave one on and just move it further up i fought with it for a little while here but my acrylic set faster than i thought it would so i ended up having to just pick it up with some tweezers just to move it down a little bit and then i used the other dried flower for the middle finger so my mum got two nails of a dried flower on instead of two flowers on one nail that was a really really long ramble <laughs> so anyway i'm now just going to obviously encapsulate this like i did the pinky nail making sure that the whole flower is completely covered and every speck of glitter is covered with clear acrylic um i also messed around with this one a hell of a lot i don't know why but you know why not <laughs> this set if anyone was wondering from start to finish of sticking the tips on and obviously top coating at the end took me one hour and ten minutes um we did have to remove a previous set as well which probably took about 20 15 20 minutes ish so altogether it was about an hour and a half for the full set and removal um obviously i've not always been able to move that quick and it is literally just because it's an acrylic set i'm not sure why but fresh sets of acrylic just like a full acrylic sets design seem to just be so much easier for me than anything else because i just i love the fact that when it's done like you literally at the end just get to top coat like literally just file it in top coat and that's done like you don't have to file and then do a whole load more design so i think i go on to do a time lapse of the rest of them because i just assumed you'd get a bit bored of watching me do the same thing over and over so i think i just did like the first bead or two on this one and then decided that actually you'd probably seen enough of me doing that so i ended up speeding through it with a time lapse i absolutely love time lapses i mean you've probably already noticed because they're in like 99.99 percent of my videos <laughs> but yeah they're just so good because you can still see what i'm doing but obviously it's just sped up a little bit so you don't have to sit through and watch me do the same thing for like 10 minutes because time lapses are horrendously sped up which is really helpful so anyway um yeah i don't really have much else to say about it so obviously I'm going to just do this on every single nail like these two are the ones with the flowers on I think I'll show you this one because obviously it's got the flower on it and then after this it will be a time lapse of me doing the rest of the nails obviously the exact same on the other hand as this hand um making sure I've encapsulated then when it's all set I will go in and file with my Willow Academy 2 uh, 1 I think it's 180 sometimes they're 150 and sometimes 180 but I think this was a 180 grit sanding band sorry about the tapping noise that's my dog's just going to the door because somebody drove past <laughs> um so yeah i go in with my e-file with my one i think it was a 180 grit um sanding band from willow academy to refine that's the good thing about like it might look like i mess around with my acrylic quite a lot but that's for a reason like obviously the per the more close to perfect you get your application the less filing you have to do and i hate filing so i'm happy to not have to do a lot of it so once i've done that encapsulated all of them refined like just gone around the free edge really quickly with a file just to get that shape back nice and crisp i will then top coat and i'll meet you back here for that because that is the best part
Okay, so we're back and I am, I am, <laughs> I am just going over that with some prep and dehydrate over all of the nails. Obviously prep and dehydrate has a slight bit of acetone in it and that acetone just very gently melts the very top layer of these nails. So instead of me having to buff them to really shiny and then my top coat not sticking very well um, or having to top coat over scratches and it looking really scratchy, I've just wiped over with this the acetone will melt the top very slightly but it will also leave a sticky residue and then i will top coat and that is what will stick to my top coat these are absolutely beautiful they look so much better in person it was really hard to capture them on camera but they were really really nice um very different from my mom she's usually quite out there with the nails and likes quite crazy in your face bright colors but I think she's going to wait until the weather's not quite as dull for those. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've added a couple of photos at the end. They were really difficult to photograph because my mum's hands just really hate me when it comes to photos and she thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, again, I will be back really, really soon for my next video. And I hope you're enjoying all of the uploads I've already got up and I'm sure you'll enjoy the ones I have to come. Please stick around to watch them. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any. I have a lot on the way. I usually upload every other day as a rule, like that's my normal go-to amount of uploads. But because we're in a lockdown, I am aiming to do more than that. So yeah, there's plenty for you to be watching while we are out of work in the nail industry. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye.